Happy Sunday, guys. It is October 17th. And I'm up here in my studio, and I was going to take a look at the Santa painting that I just finished a couple of days ago. So he's been drying on the easel. Thank you so much for all the anniversary wishes. You guys are the best. We had a great weekend. We went to Greek festival. We had some Greek food, Greek dancing, just a little getaway for the weekend. We just had a great time. So thank you all so much for your well wishes and congratulations. Yeah, you guys, 17 years. <laughs> it's been great. Okay, so I wanna show you the Santa that I just finished. I do a lot of Santa paintings. So anyway, I think he's like an 18 by 14. And sometimes I do customized Santas and I put names. But here I just put naughty and nice, checklist. So this is Santa. So I just added the holly on his hat this year. And uh, no matter which way you go, his eyes follow because Santa, he's always watching you guys. So I'm pretty sure that Winnie and Autumn and Gwenny are on the naughty list. I, of course, am on the nice list. <laughs> so there's my Santa painting, and I'm about to do another one just like him, only much larger for a commission. Okay, so like I said, you guys, I really mean this. I mean, I'm going to buy bags, of course, but it's going to be fewer and farther between because, does that make sense? Fewer and farther between. Anyway, I don't need to just keep buying bags. So, I mean, I have one coming pretty soon, but it's a need. <laughs> but I haven't been shopping, you guys. I've been being so good. I've been being so good here lately. Okay, so I'm going to go down there. I'm going to show you guys the beautiful chair that I inherited from my dad. It was my dad. It was my dad's office chair. So I want to show you the beautiful chair that I'm going to put right there. Okay. So I'll show you guys my dad's chair. And let me show you. And so it begins, you guys. This is the way my dining room table looks from October all the way through Christmas. It starts becoming a catch-all, a wrapping station. Here I have a chainsaw. You never know when you might need that. Uh, some costumes. <laughs> it's just a mess. Okay, so there's my dad's chair. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so happy to have it. My sister and I figured it up. It's about 36 years old. And it's a classic. It's a beautiful blue and it has the nail. See, so it has the, like, the detail, the nail. What do you call that? Whatever. Anyway. It's, it's beautiful and it would look beautiful down here, but I don't like to have my house too cluttered and I need, you know, it can't go here because when my family's here, I need to be, I need it to be where everybody can walk around the table and I don't really have anywhere to put it. It's beautiful. It's got this beautiful Italian leather. Chairs like this never go out of style. I'm just thrilled to have it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make my morning smoothie and uh, get some clothes on. And I think the girls are coming today for a few hours. So I'm gonna get, have the girls, so we'll have a fun afternoon with them. And uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Okay, so the girls are here, and Kennedy did something so special, and she's going to show you guys what she did, because they love their LOL dollhouse, don't you, Kennedy? Uh-huh. So, all right, Kennedy. Now, explain to us, starting with up here on the patio. Okay, what, up oh, here on the patio is, um, the LOLs are just watching a video. Okay, and... And here's the parlor where they go to get their nails done, lipstick, a makeover. Yes, and they've, they've got their hair, they get their hair done there. Yes. Awesome. And? Oh, this is a bedroom. They're taking a nap uh -huh. and the puppies are in there. Oh, yes. And they can watch TV when they wake up. Yeah, they're watching TV. Yes. All right, what about this one? <laughs> oh, that one's taking a toilet break. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, we'll, we'll leave her some privacy. What are these two girl LOLs doing? Oh, they're, they're just eating. They're sharing a corn on the cob. Right, and what about here? Those LOL dolls, this LOL doll is just playing in the sandpit. She loved those. Yes, it has paw prints, right? The dolls are playing. Uh-huh. Now they're in there. And this is the music room, right? Nope, it's the living room. The living room. The uh, living room and the music room. Oh, perfect, Kennedy. Okay, what about, what's going on here? Oh, some of the LOL dolls, like one, two, three, four, five, uh -huh. are in there taking a swim. Perfect. Oh, oh, wow, look at that hat. Okay, so right there mm -hmm. is where they're just um, looking at birds oh. and sunset, mm -hmm. watching a good for you. Oh, okay. Oh, this. Oh boy, here we go. And now she got off the toilet. Okay. <laughs> Does it flush? Now she's gonna wash her hand. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And now she's gonna go in the shower. Okay. Good job. Wow, you sure did fix this nice. Good job. This is Molly Kate's dollhouse. All right, Molly Kate, tell us what is going on. Um, so this looking at the sky, uh -huh. and this shark is looking at the pool down there. Uh -huh. So she's washing. So she, um, she's look, she's dressing up. With all her friends, uh -huh. and they um they read a book about something, and they have to have a meeting. Uh -huh. And they eat lunch. Wow! And there's some bunny looking. Look at bunny. Like what does bunny guys. have? And what does bunny have? Toys so he can play and look with out at the sky. Uh -huh. And they in the living room, and they um the west. And playing. They are staying up the stairs because they're talking yeah. about some things. Oh, yeah? What are they talking about? I'm a spice. And what about these? What about all these? You didn't tell about these. What's going on I there? I tell about okay. this one is dressing up. Uh huh. And, and they have all made it. They're looking at something. And the truck is telling something because they have to. I um, have made it, and she said the shark can can't see, but she's trying to hear so she can um, tell it all to her friends. <laughs> hey, Molly Kate, are they? Is this their bedroom? Are they going to sleep? No, that's what she. They all are dressing up. Oh yeah. A circle, and these are dressing. These are painting. Uh huh. They're yeah. painting. Mm -hmm. <gasps> are they artists? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good job. Hi guys. All right, so it is Tuesday evening, Tuesday the 20th, and I have not filmed anything since Sunday. But I'm super excited because I got some mail. I'm gonna do a little unboxing here. Winnie, she sent me a little something. So I'm super excited to see what it is she has sent me. So we're gonna do a little impromptu unboxing here in the kitchen. Okay, so. This is what Winnie sent me. All right, a card. It's not my birthday or anything. I think this is just a little Halloween treat. Oh, Winnie's so sweet. It says, Yota, thinking of you and wishing a very happy Halloween. Oh, she even sent something for you, Keith. Isn't that sweet? I'm not gonna read what she wrote to me because it's very personal and I don't wanna make Autumn jealous. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. What is this? What is this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, a little. <gasps> uh, she knows I love stuff like this. I love it. This is going to go in my art studio. Oh my gosh. Grateful. I'm very grateful. <laughs> Oh, Keith, I'll open it. She said the cookies were for you. What do you have to say, Keith? What do you want me to say? Do you like Nutter Butter Peanut Butter Sandwich Cookies? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yum. I noticed I didn't get a box in the mail from Autumn Beckman. Whoa, a baggie full of chocolates. I'm gonna have to hide these from the girls. Look at all that. That is my favorite. Okay. 
And then there's this. Look what she sent me. It's a long chomp, la pliage. Now I know in the past, guys, I'll go ahead and take the camera. You don't have to hold it. Okay, <gasps> okay in the past, I have totally roasted these. <laughs> but I don't like the brown and the black combo. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Okay, let me tell you what a big heart she has. I wanted to buy this from her, and she sent it to me. Winnie, I know you love me. I've never gotten a long champ la pliage from Autumn Beckman. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> I love it. Thank you so much, Winnie. You are just awesome. Wow. Wow, okay, thank you. Thank you, Winnie. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Thursday morning, October 21st. And um, I am about to make my shake. It's actually noon already. It's already like 11 o'clock. So I haven't had anything to eat or drink except coffee. So I'm gonna have my shake. And then I have a little something to show you guys uh, from Coach. It's just a Coach reveal. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys, I know I had a comment that somebody said I say you guys all the time. I don't even know I do it. I just caught myself and that's why I started laughing, but I've always said it. I'm originally from Detroit and even though I really don't have a very thick Michigan accent anymore, I always say you guys. It just kind of comes out like that. But anyway, yeah, look at my kitchen. It's kind of a mess. Stuff everywhere. Like I said the other day, this is the time of year where... I have stuff everywhere because I've already started buying a few Christmas gifts and I'm excited. So what I have to show you, uh, one of them is a Christmas gift. I just haven't decided which one that I want to keep for myself. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys my little coach reveal here in a bit. So this morning I did my facial, uh, my routine. I've been using, I use vitamin C from my anesthetist office or my doctor's office. Anethicist? Why did I say that? <laughs> Aesthetician. Aesthetician. <laughs> so anyway, I use really full strength vitamin C um, from the doctor's office. I think that's key. More than just, just about anything. And of course, oh, and I meant to tell you guys. So next Tuesday, I have a micro needling session set up. I haven't had it done in quite a while. I'm actually going to do three micro needling sessions within six weeks apart. They're having a special, and I hope to get rid of some of this. I notice sometimes when I'm editing, it looks like my uh, jawline is trying to fall. <laughs> so. I'm gonna have it concentrated on my jaw, well my face of course, but I'm gonna really concentrate on my jawline and under here, <gasps> you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so I just made my shake and I wanna give a shout out to one of my awesome subscribers, Josie. She gave me the um, recipe for this very simple smoothie. Mmm. It is so good, you guys, so all you do you take your Nutribullet or whatever it is you have and put some ice cubes in there. Put, I do a half a banana. So you do ice, you do a, a plant-based um, protein powder, you do uh, a scoop of almond butter, almond milk, and I put collagen in mine, of course. And it's really helped my arthritis, you guys. So this kind of almond milk. any kind of almond butter. And it is so good, you guys. It tastes like the most scrumptious, filling, healthy vanilla shake ever. 
Thank you so much, Josie, for this awesome recipe. Okay, so I just thought I would come in here and show you what I use on my face. And other than microneedling, I really think this is the best thing that I use. And it is the Revision Vitamin C Complex, and it's 30%. And you have to get this at your doctor's office. I just feel like you can never have enough vitamin C on your skin. I have other vitamin C's that I've picked up here and there, but this, I can't do without it. Now, this is pretty pricey. I wanna say it's probably over $150 for this. And then you can get the 15% strength for cheaper, but this is worth it. If skin matters to you like it does to me, it's worth it. You know, I'm not into all the designer makeups and things like that. I love my lippies, but I usually just use one little pump of this, just CoverGirl. To be honest with you guys, it doesn't matter if you buy designer makeup. I know you spend big bucks on all that. If your skin looks like shit, your makeup's gonna look like shit. <laughs> I mean, you can't take designer makeup and put it on a face that needs to be exfoliated, that needs proper skin care, and it's not gonna look better because you spent big bucks on designer makeup. So skin care, you guys, you have to start at the bottom. Skin care matters. If you have good skin, you don't have to hide your face. So it's just, Skin care matters to me. I also found a product, and a lot of times it's sold out, but I think they have it right now in Nordstrom, and it's this Paula's Choice 2% uh, exfoliant. So I use this on my face about twice a week. At night, I use my Advanced Night Repair. Great product, you guys. It really does I think it really does something wonderful to your face. It really is a true repair. I use all of this stuff. I'm always putting it in the description box because I want you guys to share in this goodness. And this is the Night Repair Eye Complex. And I also use this Estee Lauder Nightwear Plus. This is a night cream. I mean, you know. Oh, Gus just, oh, hey Gus. Okay, here is a, Day Glow Serum, Vitamin C. I'm always buying anything with vitamin C in it, and I'm telling you guys, it works. Here's a wonderful, this is a rapid brightening treatment. Now this is a great vitamin C. I got it off Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it. But microneedling and vitamin C, that is, people ask me all the time. What is your secret? Never go to sleep at night without doing your face regimen. Vitamin C. I do use um, a retinol, but I don't use it every night. Maybe twice a week. I use vitamin C and microneedling. So that's my key. And so next week when I do microneedling, I'm pretty sure Michelle will be fine with uh, me filming it. I don't know if I can film the whole thing because I can't like have it done and hold the camera. If my, if my daughter comes with me, I'll get her to film it. So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys the uh, little coach items that, um, that I have. Okay, you guys, <laughs> it's after noon and I'm still wearing my pajamas. I need to get some clothes on before Keith comes home. All right, let's just go up here in my guest room. I have a few Christmas presents in here, but I was gonna show you the two little Coach Nolitas that I got. Okay, so I'm sitting up here in my uh, one of my guest rooms upstairs. So here is the Coach Nolita. I got it on sale about, I don't remember what I paid for it, less than 100. You know, it's got that, whatever you call this. <laughs> it 
but it's really pretty. It's a cute little going out bag. Just plain on the back and it's got the leather strap and you can unhook it on one side and hook it on this side, of course, for a little wristlet. You can, but I wouldn't do that. I just, I don't like the way that, I don't like that, the way it hangs. I mean, you can do it if you want to. But I think it's cute like that. Okay. And then I got one from the JLo collection. Now this is, these are outlet pieces. And it's red. The tag is metal. Whereas this one is, see, that one is leather. So here they are side by side. I'm going to keep one. I love little grab and go bags like this for vacations. You can take like a Neverfull. And that's what I do for, uh, I usually take my GM like to the beach. And then I like to have something like this small for when we go out to dinner. But I don't know which one I need. Like I, I just don't know. I can't decide. One of them's a gift. <laughs> so which one do you guys think I should keep? They're pretty much the same. I feel like this one seems a little bigger. I just think they're both so cute. And to be honest with you, when I ordered this one, I had forgotten that I ordered this one. This was my coach reveal. That's the extent of my shopping lately. Which one should I keep? The red one or the black one? The red one or the black one? I need help. Yeah, so, you know, I just showed you guys my entire uh, luxury handbag collection. And I know there's some holes there. I mean, I don't really need anything. But if you're a handbag lover, you're always... You know, you want to fill in the holes, and I had some really good suggestions. I had people tell me that I need a wallet unchained, a Chanel wallet unchained. Yes, I know this. I would also love a YSL wallet unchained. I've actually wanted one forever, and I don't know why, because the price point isn't bad. And then someone said I needed a Bulgari. That is, that would be different. So whatever I add from here on out is going to be different is going to be kind of unique and I do need some pops of color and then another one of my subscribers and friends Alex hi Alex she said I need a bright uh, garden party I want to add some color but like I said you guys my bag purchases are going to be fewer and farther between because I have a great collection and when I do add bags it's not going to be you know just for adding bags the, those days are over because I'm really happy with my collection, but I'll never stop adding bags until I'm six feet under or spread somewhere in the Mediterranean. <laughs> okay, you guys, um, I'm going to go get dressed. That's it for this ever so exciting vlog, right? Okay. <laughs> my life is so exciting. I just can't handle it. Okay. So I'll see you guys on another day.